010103, connecting to ESX server. The vSphere client is a primary interface for managing all aspects of the virtual infrastructure environment and provides access directly to an ESX server so it can be configured and its virtual machines can be managed. vSphere client is also used to access vCenter server and allows configuration of multiple ESX servers and management of all virtual machines residing on all of the ESX servers we have. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to download and install that client. We did this in the previous movie by opening up a web browser and typing in the IP address of our ESX server and downloading and installing the vSphere client on a Windows 7 workstation. Now to fire up the vSphere management console, I'm going to go down here to the Start menu, to All Programs, now to VMware, and inside here we can see the new VMware vSphere client. Click on VMware vSphere client icon. At VMware vSphere client login screen, enter ESX server, fully qualified domain name, FQDN, or IP address. Type in user root and password for user root. I'll type in the password that I use when I install ESX. And then I can click login. And it comes up with a security warning. It is always going to come up with this warning unless you check this checkbox or you go through the process of installing your own certificate system. So I'm going to check the checkbox and then I'll say ignore. You can see down here it says loading inventory. It's discovering plugins and loading the main form. And there we go. The vSphere client connected successfully to ESX host number 252. To get the more traditional looking view here, I'll click on inventory and there we go. We can see the type of server we have and we can manage our virtual machines.